Once I find the target and we take our shot, what you'll see a lot of times is people come off the gun like this and rack the bolt from here and they're immediately coming off and looking to the spotter to tell them uh, what happened. We don't want to come off the gun because what's happening here is we're not staying on the rifle through the recoil. So if I'm trying to do multiple shots or I want to see what's happening, I should be able to see that through the scope. Now, if my body position sucks, you know what I mean, and I'm in this weird position, I'm forcing it and muscling it onto the target, right? Then what happens is when I take that shot, it bounces, and then I'm pulling back in. So every time I take that shot, I lose the target and I'm pulling back in. I should literally get a good natural point of aim so the gun is on the target and it stays on the target. Through my recoil, I should be able to see the target through the recoil the entire time. Right, and I should be able to see where my impact is, see the target right through this, uh, and then that way it'll help me if I don't have a spotter, or if I do have a spotter, but it'll help me see where the impacts are, I can make my adjustments for my wind calls, etc. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate real quick. Right now we're at 835 yards. There's a steel uh, silhouette, like an ipstick silhouette. We got a little bit of wind out here today, so bear with me, I should hit, but focus on the recoil management, focus on how I'm manipulating the rifle um, for this. So let me find the target. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm not on target right now. So I shift my body. I don't muscle the gun. I find the target. Do my windage hold. Okay, the wind's died down from my previous engagement. Hit. Okay. Try that again. See how my face doesn't come off the gun? Hit. Now I come back. See what I'm talking about? So in that, I'm calling the hit before you guys hear it, right? I never lose sight of the target as I'm manipulating the gun. It would be even smoother if I was actually right off because this, my support hand wouldn't have to leave. Right now, as a righty, it should look like this. I'm here, I'm on target. This stays right on point. My shooting hand comes up, first bolt. See how my face, the gun, I never come off the gun. It's a little bit ugly for me, because as a lefty, I can't work the bolt with my shooting hand. So I have to transition my shooting hand to be a base, work the bolt, come back, transition, switch hands. So it's not as smooth, but the main thing here is that recoil. If my body position is right, I can maintain the recoil consistently. If my rifle is set up so I have a good body position with my head, I don't have to shift my head around. Then as I take that shot, you can do both eyes open when I closed. Um, I just, a lot of times I'll just use both eyes open. Right? I might close one eye to kind of lock in on the target, both eyes open, it just helps you relax your eyes, especially if you're shooting a lot throughout the day. In position, I'm looking, shot, recoil, I'm watching through, and if my body position's right, I should, the gun shouldn't jump, and I should watch straight through the scope, see my round go in, hit, I should be able to tell you that it hit before you hear it uh, come back on the camera. Hope that helps.